Steve. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Eco Company. I'm Josh. And I'm Jordan. And you know, people have always had a special relationship with their cars, well, since they were invented. We're among some classic hot rods from another era. Now that was a great time for cars. Yeah, and we recently met up with some car enthusiasts from a new era, the era of the electric vehicle. And their owners are just as passionate. That story's coming up later in the show. First, we have a story about a new kind of superhero. It's the green caped crusader, Mr. Eco. And as Jelena shows us, he's saving the planet one rap verse at a time. We're on a mission to protect an island paradise. Here we go. Well, everybody, we made it to the islands. I'm Jordan. And I'm Adam. I only saw the wee fin of a dolphin on the way here, but hopefully we'll see more on the way out. No problem, though. There's plenty of things to explore here. So let's go check it out. Let's do it. All right. Don't try that at home, and remember your helmet. Coming up, millions of beautiful flowers. Thanks for watching Eco Company. Now for our third inspiring story. And this next guy has a wonderful credo. He says, if you think you can't have an impact on preserving the environment, you won't. He believed he could, and he did in a big way. When you say plug-in, you probably think about plugging in your hair dryer, charger, or computer. But when we say plug-in, we're talking about EVs. We're talking electric vehicles, and they've come a long way since the early days. One thing we're sure of, their owners love talking about them. Jordan takes us to a car show to see some firsthand. Not too long ago, the entire island's ecosystem almost collapsed until ecologists jumped in to save it. Up next, Darth Vader feeds the sea otters? Well, make that Jelena? Today we learn how products are made sustainably, including eco-friendly guitars. Yep, we learn that some guitars are made with the planet in mind. Adam visits one guitar maker to find out how. And scientists to the rescue. But it's not what you may think. Hey guys. We're exploring Santa Cruz Island just off the California coast. Today we're hanging out with the Nature Conservancy and teens from its LEAF program. Looks like they're working hard behind us. Let's go see what they're up to now. All right. First up, a Southern California teen who wasn't too sure about climate change. Like many of us, she was asking, how does this apply to me? And how can I do anything about it? Then she became aware of some real solutions, learned that we could all make a difference, and jumped in with a passion. It's plug-in mania. We're talking electric vehicles and lots of them. Next up, we have the story of a teen with an unusual project. As we turn 16, most of us are thinking about driving and school and guys. Or girls. Or just hanging out with friends. I believe we found ourselves a sea cave. Yeah, I don't think I've been in one like this before, so we'll be back in a bit because we're going to go explore. We'll see you on the other side. Then, a teen who aspires to live small. He's on a mission to build his own house and to show others how to take a responsible role in the world. Did you know that the adorable southern sea otter is actually a threatened species? It's true, but a group of scientists is on a mission to save this iconic marine mammal. They're part of a group that rescues, rehabilitates, and studies sea otters, which are so important to the ocean's ecosystem. Santa Cruz Island has got some beautiful views. Get a load of this. Yes, this view definitely makes that hike worth it. Next, we're going to meet with some teens who are looking for foxes. They're part of the Nature Conservancy's LEAF program. What do you say we go find out more? Let's do it. That wraps up another episode of Eco Company. Thanks for watching. For more information on the stories in our show, or to send us your feedback, check out our website at eco-company.tv. And remember, you too can be part of the solution. We'll see you next time on Eco Company. That wraps up another episode of Eco Company. Thanks for tuning in. For more information on the stories in our show, or to send us your feedback, check out our website at eco-company.tv. And make sure to friend us on Facebook. Remember, you too can be a part of the solution. We'll see you next time on Eco Company.